Hi guys and welcome back to the Canyon Dehydrating Series. Today we are going to dehydrate some mangoes. So let's have a look what we've got to do. Here I have a box of mangoes. So let's start dealing with these. Okay. With the pits and any extra little bits, I'm going to put in a jar to make vinegar with, including the skin. So these are very, very ripe. I'm going to cut them up into small chunks and place them on a dehydrated tray. Okay, that's one mango. I've got five more to go. I'll bring you back when they're all peeled and diced. Okay, I managed to get three trays done. And you do want space between them because they will stick badly. If you've got a fruit leather tray, that may be a good option because these will stick to the plastic. So I've got three and I do want some room between each one. Okay, so you can see all three are the same. Right, and what I did with the pills and any pulp or anything that was left, I actually pulled the pits out and scraped them with a knife because there wouldn't have been enough room in this jar. So I just scraped all the rest of the pulp off, put it into there, I filled it up with um, filtered water because you don't want it straight from the tap because of the chlorine in it. It will stop it fermenting. So now I'm going to put in about a quarter cup of sugar. I'm going to give that a stir. What's left on there? I'm going to cover that. In about three to four weeks, that will be a vinegar. You come in and stir it every single day. I'm always making vinegars because I use them for cleaning. I use them on my hair. They are great for all sorts. So, plus it's a no waste. And if you can encourage no waste, then that's good. Right, with mango, why I do such a wide range of fruits and vegetables and things like that with my dehydrator is because my kids are not particularly keen on fresh fruit. They're very, most of them are very fussy, but if I dehydrate them like this, I find that they eat them a lot more. So they're getting a wide selection of fruit into them one way or another. So if you've got fussy kids, mums, think about dehydrating the fruit for them because it works. Right, let's take you over to here. Oh, my dehydrator. Let's pop this lid on. Flip it on and I'm going to do about 50. About 50 degrees. Okay, then these will stay on until they are done. What I will do is I'll bring you back periodically to show you what they look like as they're dehydrating. Okay, this is five hours in. And I come in every few hours and I'm rotating the trays. That's what it looks like so far. Let's see if I can show you how sticky. It is very sticky and it is sticking. 
which is, I knew it would do that and I'm fine. I actually find it's easier to peel it off once it's fully dehydrated. So, I'll bring you back a bit later. Okay guys, our mango is done. I'm just gonna pop this in the wash. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's sort of leathery. And this is had, oh crikey, about 26, about 26 hours this is. So as you can see, it does stick, but it peels off absolutely fine. I will have to soak these trays, so that is just a warning. So let's get these jars up and then they can go on our shelves. Okay, let's get these in the jar. These make great snacks. Absolutely amazing snacks, especially for my kids who are fussy and who I don't normally be able to get much fresh fruit down them but I certainly managed to get dehydrated fruit down them instead. And if that's the way they read it, that's the way I'm happy. <laughs> As you can see, it's not actually coming off too bad. I'll show you on the next tray a bit closer. Going for salt. Okay, if we put it like that, maybe that will help. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just coming in, and they do just peel off. You can see, it's not not a struggle. It's always easier when they're finished dehydrating and one thing I forgot to mention the dehydrator has been turned off for a good hour so these are all at room temperature because you don't want to put, put warm fruit into your jars because that will cause moisture and that will cause it to spoil and mold so always make sure that your dehydrated foods are but you know room temperature With these ones I think I'm going to have a little bit of a job, but we will see when I get to them. That's why I'm going for the other ones. Let's have a look. That will come off okay. Oh, not too bad. Oh, there we are. There's a few bits on there, but that's fine. I'll put that in for a wash. Right, they are in soaking. Okay. A jar of mango. I hope you give it a try. It is great, it's a lovely thing to do. It looks pretty on your shelves. It's a way, new mums, if you've got fussy eaters and you can't get much fruit down them. Quite all dehydrated because you never know it seems to work with my kids um, they will eat the raisins they will eat the bananas they will eat the mango they eat most things dehydrated and yet they will not touch them if they're fresh you mums who have fuzzy kids you know what it's like <laughs> it's a pain 
so I really hope that you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing because this is a new series and there's going to be lots more coming your way and if you ring that notification bell you won't miss not a single video okay guys until next time happy dehydrating